Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of my Sims 3 Create a World series where I'm creating a world in The Sims 3 completely from scratch. And this is episode 21 and I am now building two lots uh, in this episode. So yes, this is nearly a 40 minute episode like the last one, but at least this time I got a couple lots done instead of just one. And this, uh, what I'm building right now, this lot here, is going to be the salon. So, um, you know, I'm kind of making these lots that I'm building myself based on, well, based on expansion pa pack lots, or there are lots that came with expansion packs. Packs. Wow, I'm saying the word packs really well today. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is the salon, uh, just like the laundromat I did last time. They're both from Ambitions, and I plan on doing other Ambitions lots like the fire station and... Um, Oh, yeah, I already did the junkyard, actually. That was episode 11. So, yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much all the ambitions. Oh, yeah, that's all of them. Anyway, um, this is going to be the salon, and it is kind of not just a salon. As you can probably tell, there's another kind of building over on the other side of the lot. Uh, those are going to be a couple stores with apartments above them. This is a theme that's been going on for quite a while with these builds. Uh, you know, I did the same thing three times before, and it's probably something I'm going to keep doing for, um, you know, uh, oh, the consignment store. You know what? That was the other ambitions um, lot, which I am going to build. Anyway, I'm probably going to do the same thing with the consignment store too. It'll be, you know, part of a collection of buildings to kind of make it look more like a town area. And I'm really happy with the way that this lot kind of completes this kind of town center area. Um, you know, I think it just works pretty well. And uh, the other lot that I'm going to be doing in this video is going to be the community gardens. At least that's what I'm calling them. And they're going to be right across the street from the uh, Central Park. So that, again, completes this whole kind of central area in the world. Um, and I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, anyway. Right here you can see I am now working on this kind of interesting roof for the salon building and I also kind of um, experiment with the glass um, kind of ceiling uh, elements that came with Into the Future so I kind of tried to work those in and I did keep them in the end although I kind of messed around with them a bit more to try to figure out how it works like how to make it work best and I also end up uh, shortening this freeze level that I'm working with right now and I couldn't get the stairs to place in originally and that's just because of the roof uh, that kind of went through the wall. So even though you can't see the roof, it's technically intersecting the stairs that I'm trying to place, and that's why they wouldn't place. It took me a little while to realize that, so yeah, for a while I was trying to get these stairs in, and I was like, what is going on? And then eventually, I figure it out. It takes a few moments, though, and I thought like the, I thought that the building wasn't level, so I tried leveling it out, made no difference, so I was like, what is happening? Ah, yes, it's the, it's the roof, so... Don't worry, there I figured it out. So there goes the roof, and there are the stairs, and now I had to put the roof back. And the roof wouldn't go back the way it was, of course, so it went in a little differently. And yeah, it has like a large overhang that I added, um, both on the right side and the front, so it kind of makes it look a bit more interesting. And like the idea of this building was that it was supposed to be more modern, so of course all the buildings uh, surrounding the park area here are more, you know, older style, like, um, you know, stores with like apartments above them and they're all like joined together. So kind of like the building I did last time, which was a laundromat. It was obviously meant to be like an older kind of building. So the idea here is that, you know, there's those two buildings um, that I have placed, uh, not really placed, but I laid out to the left of this one. So those are like there originally. And then whatever was here where the salon is now was like torn down at some point and they built this like modern salon building here. So that's kind of the idea. I wanted to do something a little bit different as opposed to just having all the same, um, you know, all the same kind of architecture. So anyway, you can see here I'm working out the windows and stuff for the salon and, you know, it takes a, a few tries to get it the way I want to look. So here I'm lowering down the uh, freeze level because I just wasn't too happy with it. I actually made it the exact height for those square windows to fit in between the two layers of glass and then I decided against using those at all, I think. Or no, did I? No, I did get rid of them. Yeah, completely. So, oh, whatever. I end up using the uh, ones from Into the Future that are kind of like long um, and very short. I thought that that worked a bit better uh, than the square ones, which I believe those came with um, 
uh, whatever that store world was that was like a desert oasis springs i think is what it was called anyway uh, i also um, liked the way that roof looked but it cut out the roof below it which is very irritating and i ended up fixing it by just um, not having roof down there below it but uh, it took me a couple tries before i worked out how i wanted it to look um, i just tried a different um, a few different other ways and it just kind of looked weird without the roof overhanging on the right side there if you can tell what I mean so yeah I, I kind of needed a larger eave so I decided to you know just kind of work that out um, so yeah so just figuring that out right now and this is another solution I tried to have but it didn't work either so I didn't do that as well but there we go so I just kind of extended the second floor there and then put some glass uh, right there so as like another element and that way I was able to have the roof eaves that I wanted. Now I wasn't sure what to do with these glass layers here and I ended up actually reversing them. Actually I only ended up having one glass layer, just the upper one. I get rid of the lower one and I expand the upper one because it, you know it just something about it wasn't working. I also tried this solution which was a little strange and I uh, didn't keep it because yeah it just looked kind of weird. So uh, just kind of trying to figure out what I want to do here. So I just got rid of all of it and then put uh, just the glass in the second level uh, and added like overhang a lot, which is how I had it the other way before, but lower down. And then I replaced the windows with windows that... Um, oh, actually, you know what? I did leave those small square windows in, but they stayed there underneath the glass. Mm. Okay, that's what I did. I thought I kept them, but I wasn't sure. Anyway, uh, so you can see here, I have um, glass right now below the larger glass, but I end up removing that. Yeah, I do end up removing it uh, and putting a wall there instead. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, here I'm figuring out the stairs because I changed the height of the freeze level, so I had to redo the stairs, but not a huge deal. So just uh, putting those in, and the stairs kind of like wrap around the central kind of element of the building that ends up just being the, the bathroom, so yeah. And here I am terrain painting the um, sidewalk kind of area in around the front there and again just like the other building uh, that I did in the last episode which was the laundromat um, this one faces the opposite direction of the building next door which is the bookstore um, rabbit hole lot so yeah oh there's the wall I put in like I was talking about anyway this um, faces the opposite way so the back of the building actually actually faces the street and the front of the building faces the park which I thought was kind of nice um, and it's the same thing I did with the other one the other one um, because there's a wall on the along the road there because the road is sloping upward so yeah it's it's again kind of an interesting lot but I think that it works quite well anyway uh, right now I am still continuing along with the um, kind of area there above the glass and I actually put in that little column which I think is also from uh, Oasis Springs or whatever that world is from the store um, yeah, the same one that came with the little square windows I put in the eave. Or not the eave, but in the um, freeze level wall there. And those are the windows from Into the Future. And I also removed the floor on the inside there, so um, hopefully it'll look like a nice kind of um, slanted ceiling there. I guess we'll find out in the screenshots at the end of the video. Uh, but anyway, right now I'm starting to work on the other building on the lot, which is right here. It's actually two buildings, which will be two stores, and each with an apartment above it. Um, they're pretty simple, uh, you know, nothing too over the top. Again, just here for decorative purposes, so I just didn't have a big blank spot on this lot here, and I kind of wanted it to look like a town center. Like, that was the whole idea, so I wanted there just to be some various buildings around that, you know, kind of made it look like you know, a town center. So yeah, anyway, there's some roofing elements around there. And I actually went with flat roofs on both of them because I wanted them each to have their own distinct roof in a way. And since you can't have like different roof, um, or I don't know, like roof uh, pieces or elements, different uh, colors like you can in The Sims 4, uh, you know, I couldn't use normal roofing, I'd use flat roofs, so. Oh yes, and I kept forgetting to turn off constrained floor elevation, so all the freeze levels kept getting messed up every time I placed floor tiles down on the floor, which is great. But anyway, here I am putting in some windows. I don't keep those windows though, I do change them. I didn't want this building to look like, um, like, uh, very, like, I don't know, like 270s or too, 
or just outdated, which I felt like it was starting to look like that unintentionally. So I kind of tried to save it. So yeah, I was going to go with like these stone slabs in the outside, which, which I keep, but only like in that one spot. And I also will um, go with, I think, I don't even remember what I put in the outside, some sort of siding. You'll see. It, it doesn't look too dated in my opinion. I also kind of left the roof a bit taller here on this side, so it looks like those frieze pieces that go around the outside are like part of the wall, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, um, putting in the stairs now, so you can have stairs to the apartments above, of course. And yeah, uh, one of the apartments is a one bedroom, one bathroom. The other one is just a studio apartment because it was smaller, but they're both pretty small, as you can imagine. So here I'm just working out the floor plans. Uh, there's one there, and this one here is a little bit smaller, and that's it. So there you go. Wow, amazing. And I think I come back to these buildings after I finish this this um, the, the salon. I almost said spa, but it's not. It's the salon. The spa is actually across the street. It's a rabbit hole that I did, I think, back in episode 13. So, yeah. Anyway, um, oh, here's where I change out those windows because they weren't looking quite as I had hoped they would. So I end up going with larger windows there for the front, which helped make the building look a bit more modern and less 70s. And then I went with, um, I think, windows from Showtime there, which I made wooden, and they also helped the building look a little bit more modern. So I also put a sign in, so that's cool. I don't know where that sign came from. Um, I don't know, but it works fine, I suppose. It looks like a sign for some sort of business establishment. And here I'm putting in the siding that I was talking about earlier, but it's kind of like a very modern siding. It's not like um, what I use on the uh, other buildings on this lot, for example, which I haven't gotten to yet, but I will. So yeah, it's a pretty simple color scheme. I feel like it makes the building look pretty modern. It still looks a little kind of dated, like a dated modern, but it works, I think. It definitely is different than the other buildings around it, which I think is good. Anyway, uh, it's like this little landing upstairs here. Uh, you can see it's putting in some doors. There's going to be an office on the second floor, which is, you know, just for decoration. It serves no purpose, but I thought, why not? Just, you know, I feel like, you know, you'd probably have an office or something for, like, the manager or something. I don't know. Uh, so right now, it's putting in um, a different color there for the surrounds on those glass elements. So just doing that. That's kind of fun and exciting as I do... I also did the edge, too, of like that um, flooring section, if that makes sense, because you can kind of change the color of the edge there. And here I'm going to put in a little bit of a light on the outside, so that's nice. And I think we're going to move to the interior relatively soon, but I'm just removing some of the tile because I felt like there was too much on the outside of the building. And oh, there's also like a little balcony there, I forgot about that. A little balcony off the office there that looks out to the road, which is nice. Anyway, uh, right now, what am I doing? Changing up some wall materials and I think we're going to jump inside pretty soon so you can see that area where the half wall is is going to be where the front desk goes and then I have I think one like I don't know what they call it I think it's like a styling station or whatever where your sims can do their salon not salon sorry oh it is a salon wait am I so confused no it's a salon that's right I keep getting the salon and the spa mixed up for some reason but the spa is a rabbit hole and the salon is a building that you make yourself anyway um yeah, so for all the salon things that Sims do, I don't know, I think I've never actually used one of these um, buildings myself in gameplay, so I'm not entirely sure how they work, but I imagine that it's basically just, you can, like, you know, work as a stylist, and then, like, Sims come in, and you get paid to, like, change their outfit or, like, their hair or whatever based on whatever they want. I feel like, because I, I feel like it's similar probably to the architecture career, because I did play that. I, I, like, I liked the architect or the home decorator career. I don't remember what they called it exactly, but I think it was along the same kind of vein as the stylist one. But anyway, so here I'm putting in some lights in this freeze level because um, otherwise it was weirdly dark. And yeah, that, that does give it a little bit of a taller ceiling. Oh, I accidentally went out of town there. Yeah, it kind of gives it a little bit of a higher ceiling, which is nice. And also like the sloping roof as well without the floor tiles makes the ceiling even higher. So there you go. And here I'm putting in some lights there, uh, some more lights in this kind of landing area. And yeah, anyway, as I was saying, there's going to be one uh, kind of like stylist station and then two, I think, tattoo seat things because Sims can do tattoos here. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, oh, there's the tattoo things. I only end up having two of them, though. I was going to try to fit two stylist stations in, but I couldn't. There just wasn't enough room, so there's one 
which I think is pretty standard for these lots. They usually just have one. And yeah, so just doing some decor decorations now. So, I mean, those are the main things that the lot needs to have. I think it just needs those two things to be a salon. But of course, I'm going to add a few more things here. So just doing some detailing and stuff. I'm going to put in um, some like furniture where Sims like can wait, you know, if they have an appointment, which probably doesn't work that way in game, but you know, in real life it would work that way. So putting in some chairs there so Sims could wait uh, in theory for their appointment. So just coloring those in and putting in uh, some side tables there, coffee tables. I also put in our little sitting area by the front there. There we go. So yeah, just some nice little waiting areas. And I, I think some lamps. Yep. Lamps. Cool. I think I'm just going to do some details now. It's like a little side table. I also found that like little shelving unit there with like the colored glass art pieces in it. Um, never saw that before in the game. Not entirely sure about where that's from. Uh, I think it was in Buy Debug, and it's from probably a store thing. I don't know. I don't know where that's from, but it looks pretty cool. I should probably use that more often now that I know it exists. And here, putting in the bathrooms. This is just the public bathroom for the lot. Um, you know, anyone can use that bathroom, which is good. And recoloring some stuff here. So just recoloring the different stations and things just so it all, you know, kind of matches the color scheme of the spa. And also some plants to make it look nice. So just doing some of that. Some plants here and there and everywhere. And some various details, extra details on the styling station, which I didn't know you could add those on there, but you can apparently, which is nice. Also a rug there and another rug there. And I think I put some curtains in just on those side windows there, uh, not too many. And a bit of art as well. I actually just realized that there's like a tattoo, like artwork thing that like shows all the different tattoo options Sims could get. Um, in theory, it's just decorative, but that's the way it's supposed to work. I did not put that in here. Just realized that, but I don't think it matters too much. It's probably fine. Anyway, uh, also putting in some artwork there. And, oh, yep, yeah, everything keeps getting messed up with constrained floor elevation there. And then up here in the landing, I just put another little sitting area just because I didn't really know what else to do with it. I also removed that wall there and opened it up a little bit, so you'll see what I mean in a second, probably. And a bit of artwork there, why not? And there we go. So I removed that wall and expanded the space a little bit, and now there's more room there. I didn't want to do with the extra space, so I just didn't do much with it. Anyway, this is the office here, so, you know, I guess whoever's the manager or whatever, you know, and whoever's in charge or whoever owns it, I suppose, could, you know, just have their office here, just keep some records, have their computer, you know, you know, it's that kind of stuff. So there's a computer desk. It's quite a large room. Didn't mean for it to be that big. Um, so there's like some couches in there, which is very fancy, but, you know, it's just mainly a office. There's a bookshelf you can't use because the couch is blocking it. That's always good. Some artwork, some plants and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. There's also a bathroom off the office as well, so, you know, whoever has the office can also just use the, their own bathroom there. And there's also, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that, my throat is a little dry. Anyway, um, also a, it has its own balcony too, which is very nice. Anyway, here I'm just coloring the areas your sims can't go in, just solid black, which just makes it look a bit nicer. And I'm doing some outdoor lighting, which uh, I don't do that lighting there because it's, um, where the glass is, so I have to move it somewhere else. But I also put some lights in that little area there because it just didn't look very nice. Um, like it was all like dark and weird. I also put some lights just on the very edge there, so the front of the building has some lighting, which is nice. And I think that's pretty much it for the salon. I don't really know what more I do. Uh, so I think we're gonna move on now to the stores and the apartments. So. Yeah, uh, again, these are pretty basic, and they're just mainly here to serve as decoration, you know, not really meant to be used, although they are functional if you do have the, um, uh, what is it, the Store World Moon Moonlight? No, Midnight Hollow, that's it. Always get it mixed up with Moonlight Falls, but it's Midnight Hollow, and that has, like, the, like the set where you can, like, sell things, um, in stores, so I guess if your sim owns this lot, or doesn't, either way, they can go to the store, and they or these stores, and they can technically buy things uh, as long as you have that pack. So, yeah, they're functional, but still mainly just for decoration. Um, and, and of course, the apartments are not really functional, uh, so that's just mostly also for decoration. But anyway, here um, I'm putting in uh, 
some stuff, some doors and windows, looking for the right door there, struggling a little bit. Found it, there we go, that's nice. So there's a door, and then some windows too. Had a bit of trouble with the windows as well, I think I come back to it. Anyway, um, yeah, oh there they are. So, nice little balcony there off the front of this building. And this one has like a green exterior, which is kind of interesting. And the one next door is kind of very white um, and neutral colored. So just putting some awnings there on that building and then using my favorite wall material there, which I pretty much use in all these uh, store fronts um, that has like the little uh, border around it, which I think looks kind of nice. So you're just putting this stone texture on the front and around the sides and then kind of this other uh, material there for the freeze levels, um, just to kind of give it a little bit more detail. And yeah, up there as well, or just there, I guess. And then this building has green siding, so I thought I'd do something a little bit more colorful here, why not? It's not the most beautiful building ever, but I thought it was kind of interesting, you know. It definitely makes a statement. And then I uh, added the freeze here, so just doing some colors on the top edge there, not the brown, that was a little bit too much for me. So I went with gray instead for the top there. But yep, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the exterior colors of that building. And then the one next door, we're gonna put some nice windows in the front there and uh, I think go with, I think I went with the bottom, like a kind of a light stucco color. And then up top I went with um, more of a, uh, like sh uh, shingle, like a white shingle or shake kind of siding. Uh, so you'll see that in a bit, but just doing just the windows here, there it is. So I think it's just like an off white color and I'm just gonna put that around the building. So there you go. Um, it goes pretty well with the building next door as well. So anyway, just doing the top part of this building as well, just that little extra detail. And uh, went with like this, the colors kind of from the stucco and from the awning there also kind of wrap the awning around the side there with like a side window because why not? Anyway, uh, putting some more windows in uh, around the back there and some windows down the sides here because there is actually some room there on the side because it's not on our building right next door. Well, there is, but it's there's some space in between. Anyway, putting in some flooring down here. Uh, this uh, store has some tile floors in it and I was considering doing like another closed store thing, but I already did that with the last uh, build I did. The laundromat build had a closed store in it, so I thought I might as well at least finish them off in, um, somewhat. So this store here becomes yet another furniture store. There's already two of them in this area because I don't really know what else to do. So yeah, it's another furniture store. So I'm just going to put in some furniture. I was just looking for the cash register there. There it is. And I put in these rugs here. So anything that are placed on these rugs can be sold um, with the cash register. So uh, pretty interesting there. And uh, yeah, so there's some furniture that your Sims could actually go and buy if they wanted to. So, you know, it is a real store. Uh, putting in just various things as a desk as well. So your Sims could go buy that if they want to. Also a chair. I don't think that's I don't know if the chair is technically on the rug, and other things like these bookshelves aren't for sale because there's no rug under them, but you know, you could always change that, of course. Also putting in some lighting in here, and I think I put a couch there. I do indeed. And a lamp next to it, how nice. And some curtains as well, just on the side windows and the back windows. And I also put in, I think, a shelf with some more things for sale on it. Yep, those shelves also uh, have things on them that can be sold, so you know, just adjusting the height there and putting some plants in, why not? That's cool, also another yellow horse. And, you know, every lot has to have a yellow horse, naturally. So there you go, that's the furniture store. This store here is um, kind of just more basic, doesn't really have too much going on in it. Um, you know, it's just a store. Just, again, for decoration, there's a little uh, counter there where things would be sold. And I believe I just put in, like, um, like a display case that's empty and some chairs. I think the only things for sale in this store technically are on these shelves here. And let's see what I put on them, some urns and some just decorative items. So there you go. So yeah, those are the only things for sale in this store technically because the display case is just empty and the chairs are just for sitting in. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But there you go. And uh, the store also has a little bathroom in it. So, you know, a little public bathroom there as well. So your Sims can go use that if they want. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for that store there. Now, I think, oh well, yeah, also the constrained floor elevation cheat is still on. It's still messing up all of the um, freeze levels, which is great. I think I finally turned it off there. And I think now we're gonna move on to doing the apartments, the interiors of the apartments, which are, you know, pretty simple. Um, they're not huge and 
we're going to do that now once I put in the doors, of course. Got to have doors in the apartments, naturally. So here we go. So we're going to start off with um, the one on the left here, so uh, the green one, and putting in the kitchen here. It's a pretty simple kitchenette. Again, there's not going to be any like microwave or oven because you can't put those on community lots without doing some workarounds, which I'm not really interested in doing because, again, this is mostly just for decoration. So yeah. Anyway, I uh, got a kind of interesting colored fridge there and sink. I thought I'd just add a splash of color, because why not? And uh, there's the dining table in the corner there, and also just a little sitting area. There's no TV or anything, though. It's a pretty simple apartment, very small, of course, but putting in the colors here on the furniture. And I'm also going to put in some nice flooring, which I go with a pretty orange flooring, actually. I thought I'd make a statement there. Why not? And also do the walls here. I'm not orange, though, just the same wood color that's on the doors and windows and stuff, but, you know, just kind of have a pop of color there with the floor, why not? And also the, the um, fridge and sink too, I suppose. Also a simple rug and some curtains on the windows there, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put in some plants and artwork as well, and yeah, so there you go. That's the living room, dining room, kitchen area. We're gonna do the simple bedroom here. Again, only one side of the bed is usable in this room, just like the other apartment I did in the, um, or one of the apartments I did in the laundry mat build where the bed is against the wall because it's a very small room. But, you know, the bed's still usable, just only one side of it. And yeah, pretty simple bedroom, putting in uh, various things. Also an armoire or a wardrobe, which is nice. Fit, fit that corner pretty well. There's also a closet as well off the bedroom, which is a nice bit of detail. I like to always have closets in my builds. And here I'm putting in the bathroom, so pretty simple. Uh, bathroom has a tub shower combination in it and a sink and a toilet, of course, so there you go. I'm uh, also going to put in all the details there, so some towels and stuff. I don't think I actually put rugs in these bathrooms. Ooh, usually I do. I actually almost always do. Oh well. They'll survive without rugs. So uh, there's some uh, clothes in the closet, also just doing, doing, doing the hallway here. Um, so just uh, putting some stuff in the hallway and yeah, just finish up the details and I think that's pretty much it for that apartment. So we have one more apartment to do here. Uh, this one is a studio apartment, so uh, pretty simple. Uh, we have just a kitchenette here uh, with a slightly less intense green, um, a fr less intense green fridge and sink. And I'm also putting in a nice a tile backsplash there and um, a bed there in the corner. So there you go. Yeah, so just a bed in the corner, um, double bed. Again, only one side of it's usable. And there's just a simple chair in the corner there, which I guess is a little sad, but that's okay. No TV in this apartment either, actually. But some plants and a nice bit of art there. And also some curtains, of course, to, you know, block out the light and give a little bit of privacy. So it's doing that. And also a dining table, of course, so putting that in as well. And that's pretty much the main space for this apartment. It's pretty simple. Also a rug, naturally. Got to have that. And we're also going to do the closet, because of course there's a closet, and then the uh, bathroom. So pretty simple bathroom, pretty much the same as the other one that's in the other apartment. So putting all the stuff in uh, for the bathroom here. So kind of more brown colors in this bathroom, so you know, making it a little bit different there, at least color-wise. And uh, there's a mirror and um, some details, some towels, all that kind of stuff. Also putting... Uh, Bit of towel on the wall there and we're gonna do the, the um, stairwell and uh, hallway area it's not really a hallway just a stairwell that goes up to the apartment so putting some lights in and just doing the uh, stair colors and flooring and stuff so just getting that in and yeah that's pretty much it so I think we're just gonna do some landscaping on this lot and then call it a day for this lot anyway so just doing some uh, stone down the side there just a little bit of a pathway so your sims can get to the door there for that apartment and putting in some trees and stuff. Again, pretty simple landscaping. It's nothing too over the top here, but gets the job done. Also, there's a back door for the salon there, so it's getting a uh, pathway to there, and also some bushes and trees and stuff. Uh, just, you know, stuff like that, just to make it look nice and and flush, flush, lush, nice and lush. Um, so yeah, also putting in uh, just ferns and stuff. Also some terrain paint, of course, gotta have that uh, as always, so just doing that. It's kind of around the place, underneath all the bushes and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm also going to put in some benches, of course, and some lighting uh, to make it kind of look nice and finish it off. But yeah, I, I really like the way this turned out. It kind of fits in nicely in this corner. And, you know, like when you're in edit town or kind of like map view, it, it kind of makes like a nice, 
like the whole town center looks nice and kind of finished off now. You know, it all kind of fits together well. Also putting some ivy up the side of the building there, because why not? And also some little plant pots. Anyway, we're going to move on now to um, the community gardens, which is the lot right across the street from the uh, Central Park. So you'll see that in a second as we head over there. So here it is. Um, the first thing I did was mirror the wall that the community park has. So, you know, just thought that would be nice. I also found the center of the lot here for a nice gazebo. So uh, the, the main thing with this lot is that it's just a uh, simple park. It has a gazebo, it has a greenhouse, and then just pathways with lots of nice plants and, and stuff like that. So you'll see that as it comes together here. So putting in a bit of a pathway here to go around the gazebo, which is not really a gazebo yet. It's just kind of some foundation, but it will be a gazebo. I'm just trying to make a, like a symmetrical pattern there, but yeah. And <clears throat> and uh, this also faces the ocean as well, or it kind of faces the um, wharf area. So it's kind of like right next to the bistro, right across the street from the um, main central park. So it kind of is a nice continuation of that park in a way with kind of just the road running through it. Which I thought was kind of cool. And here I'm building the greenhouse, which is, um, you know, I thought a nice addition. And I do actually put real harvestable plants in there. So your sims can go and actually get some plants from there. And um, there's also going to be some other plants, um, like harvestable plants, like apple trees and tomato plants and stuff, um, just on the lot as well. So, yeah. I decided I wanted to make this lot a park and not just some buildings because I felt like if I made it buildings, it would just kind of be strange because you would from like the wharf area you just see like the back of them and then it I don't know it just would have to be a bunch of just decorative stores because I didn't really know what else to put on this lot so yeah um, I plan on building the um, consignment store actually right next to this lot uh, to the left of it so yeah that's where I plan on putting that because there's a lot there but this lot was pretty large and very centralized so I thought it would make like a nice park and for the next few minutes I'm basically just going to be placing in a lot of different plants and bushes and trees and stuff to kind of fill it in and make it look nice, um, like like gardens, you know, as the name would suggest. It's called community gardens, and yeah, so just doing that, putting in trees and stuff. Um, another one of those trees from Aurora Skies there, which is actually the same tree that's on the city hall lot. So that's yeah, fine. And doing some more bushes and and plants and stuff. Very very lush. A lot of plants. That's that's basically the theme of this lot. Just a lot of plants. Uh, so yeah, just doing that now. So just putting those pretty much everywhere. Uh, so just, you know, just plants here and there, different varieties and things, you know. Uh, usually, it's actually most of the stuff that I usually use, uh, you know, uh, on my other lots, just so it's somewhat consistent with the other lots in the world as well, you know. I also put a tiny pond here as well, just between those pathways, because, you know, why not? I also put in some decorative rocks there as well, just kind of aligning the pathway, and I put in some uh, different like bushes and plants and ferns and fauna and stuff like that so you know get the idea and uh, yeah so just putting in some trees and more trees and more bushes and more flowers and get you get the idea pretty much just a lot of that kind of stuff um so yeah not that fascinating but you can see what i'm doing here and we will get to the greenhouse in a bit so don't worry about that anyway more ferns more plants ah, a bit of terrain paint now so putting a little bit of dirt terrain paint in, so just kind of, of course, adding that nice detail to it as well, so putting that in naturally. Just kind of going in underneath all the plants here and there and everywhere, so making that look nice and detailed, and yeah, uh, we're just basically going to finish off the gazebo and the um, greenhouse and do some outdoor lighting, and then that's pretty much going to be it for this lot. It was pretty simple, but anyway, um, these lots are... Um, of course available for download they're in the description uh, or the links are in the description and the uh, lot numbers that you should place these on in Plymouth Isle are also going to be in the description as well and also a lot map there so be able to see where they belong in the world so don't worry about that and um, yeah so of course you can also check out the playlist for this whole series which is on my channel as well and I think linked in the description below as well and there's also going to be uh, well, there also is already a download link, so you can go and download the world as well, of course. Um, so that's in the overview video on my channel of the second version of the world. So this is V2 of Plymouth Isle. So you can download the world yourself and place in these lots. And once I finish all the community lots, I will be releasing a version of the world with them already 
all there. So you'll be able to get that in the future if you want to wait for that. But yeah, anyway, um, just doing some details here with the um, gazebo and the uh, greenhouse. So just putting in different color there for those um, kind of pillars and uh, railings. And then just changing up the stairs, making them stone. Uh, I'm going to do the inside of the greenhouse here. So looking for planters uh, to put the plants in, of course. And anyway, we're nearly done here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate it if you check out my channel. I have plenty of other um, episodes in this series, also uh, house builds and stuff that you can check out. And if you like what you see, I'd greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing. But anyway, uh, coming up after this building portion of the video are going to be some screenshots. I hope you stick around for those, and I'll show off all the work that we achieved in this episode here. But anyway, just doing um, you know the finishing touches to the lots here. I think I'm going to do some outdoor lighting as well uh, before we head over to the screenshots. But right now I'm just uh, putting in some more terrain paint and also putting a ceiling on this um, little gazebo there, which is always good. And also some lighting in the... Um, uh, greenhouse. But yeah, uh, all the lights on this lot and the benches too are actually the same as the ones that are in the community park um, or the central park across the street. So it all kind of matches, which is nice. Um, it's kind of like a nice continuation of that lot. So anyways, putting some nice lights in, doing some more terrain painting. Of course, that's a little garden area where there's like actual plants your sims can eat from. And yeah, some more terrain paint, some more terrain paint. And I think the last thing I do is benches. I actually could have put trash cans in too. Forgot about that. Not really important. It's fine. Benches, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>